Hello, my name is Ellen Thompson Jennings. I call myself the Family History Hound. This series is called What's in Your DNA? And this video is about why people DNA test. These are strictly my own opinions. I've tested at the five major DNA companies and I've tested many of my family members. So I hope my deep dive into DNA helps you understand your DNA better. There are many reasons why people take a DNA test. Here are some of the reasons that come to my mind when I think about why people test. They want to learn more about their ethnicity. They want to prove their tree. They have a family mystery. They want to learn more about their health. Or they received it as a gift. Let's look a little more in depth about each of these reasons. Testing to learn about your ethnicity is probably the most likely reason why a person DNA tests. It's as simple as wanting to learn whether a person is Scottish, Irish, or any of the other ethnicity possibilities. For genealogists, this can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. Good because you're going to get more matches and bad because sometimes people who test for ethnicity have no further interest once they learn what their ethnicity is. So they may not respond to your inquiries about how you connect and they might not know much about their tree. But we all hope that once they learn their ethnicity and receive those matches that this sparks their interest to learn more and perhaps a genealogist is born. Note that each of the DNA companies has their own core populations that they compare your DNA results to. So your ethnicity may vary from company to company. Another reason for taking a DNA test is to prove your genealogy tree. I've heard some people say, I don't need to take a DNA test. My family tree goes back to the 1700s. But is your tree accurate? By taking a DNA test, you can prove whether those people really are your people and you're not researching someone else's tree. Having a family mystery is one of the reasons I DNA tested myself and so many others in my family. On my blog, Hound on the Hunt, I talk about the beaten baton mystery. This mystery is that my maternal great-grandfather was adopted. He was raised by the Beaton family and his sister Annie was raised by the Batten family. Through DNA testing, I know they were related to each other, but who were their parents? On my father's side of the family, my grandfather was born illegitimate and he never knew who his father was. Without DNA testing, each of these branches of my tree would be the end of the line for my tree. For those that have unknown parentage, DNA can be the only way they discover more about their ethnicity, health, or family tree. Health is another important reason to DNA test. We all want to know more about ourselves, so knowing the potential of various genetic predispositions to certain illnesses can be very important to us. By knowing more about these potential health issues, we can take the necessary preventative steps to reduce the chances of those health issues or we can advise our doctor and possibly have additional genetic testing. 23andMe was one of the pioneers in this field of DNA testing, but now all of the other major DNA companies, those being Ancestry, MyHeritage, Family Tree DNA, and Living DNA, offer a health component of DNA testing. Note that some of these tests are only available in the US, so be sure to check the links in the show notes. I've tested at 23andMe, but originally I was just, it was just for genealogy re reasons. I didn't want to test for my health because my mother had died of complications from Alzheimer's and I didn't want to know whether I had that gene. Finally, I succumbed to the request from 23andMe to upgrade my kit, but I actually, actually didn't look at the results for over a year. When I finally did, I found out that I had one of the two genes for Alzheimer's. Does this mean I will get Alzheimer's? Well, actually no. It means I have a 5-7% to 7 chance of developing Alzheimer's disease by age 75, compared to 3% chance for the general population. By age 85, that risk is 27-30% to 30 for people with my genetic results, compared to 11-14% to 14 for the general population. When I learned this, it was actually a bit of a relief because prior to that, every time I didn't remember something, I was panicking, wondering if that was a sign that I was getting the disease. 
It also meant that even though there is no proof that I can prevent the disease, I could work at eating healthy and exercising to do whatever I could do to give myself the best possible chance. After all, obesity, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure increase the risks of Alzheimer's disease in older age people. Darn, getting healthy seems unavoidable. One question that I'm often asked is, won't your health insurance go up because of this? Well, actually, no. In 2008, a federal law called the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, or GINA, made it illegal for health insurance providers in the U.S. to use genetic information in decisions about a person's health insurance eligibility or coverage. A similar Canadian law prohibits your insurance provider from using the results of your genetic test to influence its underwriters or affect your premiums. But I will say one thing, if you take your DNA results to your doctor and you pursue your genetic testing further, then you won't need to then you would need to reveal this to your potential health insurance provider if they ask that question. I'm not a lawyer and I don't even play one on TV, but I feel that taking a test is not their business, but testing that you pursue with your doctor is a different story. You can read more about my 23andMe results at the link in the show notes below. Often people are so excited about their own DNA results that they might give someone else in the family or a friend a DNA kit for their birthday or Christmas. As much as taking a DNA test can be super interesting and you can learn so much about yourself, you need to remember one thing. You might find out something you didn't know and you possibly didn't want to know. I don't want to discourage you from taking a test. I mean, I want to find out if you are my cousin, but you need to know that you may learn that your father isn't your father or that you were adopted and never told. So long as you understand this prior to testing and you're okay with knowing your truth, then go for it. I'm always looking for new cousins. So now we've covered what I think are five of the many reasons why a person takes a DNA test. I'm sure there are many more. If you're thinking about DNA testing, I hope this helps you with your decision. I'm Ellen Thompson Jennings and I call myself the Family History Hound. Please like and subscribe to my channel and be sure to ring that bell to be notified of a new video.